SV2 Teens is a program for teenagers who want to get involved, to make a difference, and change the world. We met six times to learn about the nonprofit sector, fundraise additional dollars. We made a decision about where to give our grant. Together we learned so much, had a lot of fun, and truly made a difference with the time and money we spent. We hope this film inspires you to get out there and make a difference too. This year's SP2 Teens program was even more fun because we got even more teens participating, got to do some fundraising ourselves, and for returning high schoolers, we got to help plan this year's program by being on the leadership committee. I thoroughly enjoyed meeting the new teenagers and seeing how their opinions and voices contributed to the overall success of SP2 Teens this year. We've been running SP2 Teens for two years now, and it's been incredible to watch the program evolve in that time. We were able to have 25 kids who really got this kind of once in a lifetime opportunity to really understand the nonprofit world. Think about what you might be able to accomplish by taking a little step here, a little step there. They know that they want to make change happen, that's why they're here, but the next step's like, how do I want to make change happen and at what level? I want to talk to you about an issue you may never have heard of. I'm going to use the term black carbon throughout. We provide housing for about 34 families at two locations, which is about 100 people per night. And um, we usually keep, keep both houses at 90% occupancy. You're asking to get the, for, to use the money um, for computers and the router system and that kind of thing. Yes. Have you looked into getting donations from companies? How many do you, volunteers do you have and what exactly do they do? Uh, how long can families stay in the houses? Does it propose a specific plan of action to reduce this? How would that work? What is your estimated total cost for this project and how are you going to raise the rest? Obviously both the organizations are great causes. They're very, they're both very worthy. However, I would like to see our money go a lot, you know, as far as it possibly can. Even if First Justice does lose the case, it's still going to raise awareness in like the government and society. And also, like, we're not going to see it immediately, clearly. Even though we would not be seeing immediate change, I think the scale and how we're going to benefit in the long run is going to be a huge difference. My favorite part of SV2 Teens was choosing which group or organization to give the grant to because everyone had different opinions and it was really interesting to hear them all. You're making a huge difference and either way hopefully you've learned a lot and you can raise awareness about whichever issue, the one that we fund or the one that we don't fund, that's important to you. So in no way should this be the end. This is the beginning. Our 2010 SV2 Teens grant will go to Family House. Wow, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is going to be uh, really exciting for us as an organization and, of course, for our families. So, can you guys help me? I don't think there's a foundation out there like them. And uh, the minute that we heard that we, were, that we could potentially get support from such a dynamic group, we were really, really excited. I love the presentations from both of them. But I, I decided that the grant would be better for Family House because I really, I can see the change in this area. SV2 Teens taught me how leveraging money and time can make a real impact. It was a great experience and I'm excited to participate again next year. It felt great to know that our group of teens could make such a difference. Even with a little money and a few families getting together, you can make a big difference in the world. SV2 Teens introduced me to many new and interesting people that I learned a lot from and that inspired me. SV2 Teens is a great way of not only letting them see what 
people can do to make a difference in other people's lives. Not just learn about it, but actually have an impact on it. At SV2, I've learned about many important nonprofits, which I which I would have never learned about if I hadn't have joined SV2. We got to learn about many different careers and companies. We got to see animals in their shelters in the startup Mozilla. SV2 Teens is a different type of learning experience than being at school because I'm not learning for my teachers. I'm learning for me. SV2 Teens showed me that one group of teens can help change the world. What was really great to see was how teens that supported each of the organizations have already stepped up, gotten involved, scheduled meetings with each organization, set up service projects, and even donated their own time and money with these organizations right at the end of the grant round. I envision a world in which everyone is entitled to peace and prosperity. I envision a world in which everybody is educated about climate change and global warming. I envision a world in which every individual lives to enjoy their passion while helping others to be the best possible version of themselves. I envision a world where people come together to help other people in need. If we all pitch in, we can work together to make a better world where everyone has the opportunity to make a good life for themselves. If everyone contributes a little bit and puts in the effort, they can really make a difference. I would tell other people who want to make a difference that every bit you contribute or you can do, um, big or small, will help in a substantial way. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, is the only thing that ever has. Market Mead. This year, SV2 Teens was that group of citizens, and I believe together we can change the world. Will you join us?